Our next suture is the horizontal mattress suture. Its configuration is horizontal as opposed to our vertical mattress. You can think of this as two simple sutures. So in some essence, it's a simple suture, it just saves you some time. It's important here that you stay close to the skin edge and that you're the same distance on both sides. You'll take your bite on one side and then the other side. And then you'll turn it around and you'll go back so you end up on the same side. And there you can see our mattress. The advantage of this is speed compared to doing simple suture. It doesn't avert as effectively sometimes as a vertical mattress. Here you see the way I've placed it, it's averting nicely. So that's one example of a horizontal technique. A variant of this is the figure of eight suture. The figure of eight suture is the same distribution. You take your simple bite and your simple bite, but rather than turning the needle around, you move on and take your next simple bite and simple bite. What that does, when you tie this, it'll make a small little eight, and that's why it's called a figure of eight suture. The advantage of this, again, is speed. Instead of doing two simple sutures and tying two simple sutures, you'll see this sometimes in some deeper closures, like fascial closures, because, again, you're grabbing a bunch of tissue to a bunch of tissue, and therefore it'll be more secure. The final variant of the horizontal mattress is called a half-buried mattress. And we use this a lot in plastic surgery. If there's an area where you don't want suture holes, you can actually start your horizontal mattress on one side. On the opposite side, stay within the dermis in a horizontal fashion, in a subcuticular fashion. And then come back on the other side, again, out like you would in a normal horizontal mattress. So effectively, it's your horizontal mattress, but half of it is buried. And hence the name, the half-buried horizontal mattress. And when you tie this here, it'll secure the skin, and you only have suture marks on one side. You'll see we'll do this at times when we have a hair-bearing area and a non-hair-bearing area, and we want to hide the suture marks. Or if it's a very end or tip of a flap, and we're afraid that putting sutures in the tip is going to interrupt the blood supply. So our three variants of a horizontal, the straight horizontal mattress, the figure of eight, and the half-buried horizontal mattress.